Yesterday, we had the Indian men's hockey team scripting history by winning bronze at the Olympics after 41 years. Today, all eyes are in the Indian women's hockey team. They're up against Great Britain. The match has just begun about a minute ago for a bronze medal. The big encounter is underway. And for Team India, this match will no doubt be a true test of their nerves. In the knockout stages of Tokyo 2020, Rani and company lost their match against Great Britain 4-1. The team will now be aiming to ensure that they don't repeat the same mistake. Our consulting editor, Borya Majumdar, joins me now from Tokyo. Borya, huge day for Team India. What really can we hope from this crucial encounter? Do we stand a chance? You know, it's a huge match. Can't tell you how big it is. The stakes are at its highest for the girls. What a stellar campaign it has been, a premium campaign. Nobody expected them to come this far. Nobody expected them to beat Australia. Nobody expected them to fight Argentina tooth and nail, take it to the very last minute when that deflection could have been a goal. Today it is their date with history. Can they do what the men did? Imagine if the girls are able to do it, what will happen to the stock of women's hockey back home? I will obviously be inside cheering for them. Had a chat with Rani Rampal yesterday evening. She sounded confident, but she too knows how difficult, how humongously difficult the task is. They've lost to Great Britain in the pool. They have, uh, you know, Great Britain is higher ranked, more pedigree. They have their task cut out. If you ask me pragmatically, India is the underdog and a big underdog. But Tokyo so far has been the tournament of the underdog. So do I have hope? I do. Am I optimistic? I'm cautiously optimistic. But as I said, Britain 70-30 favourites. But in Olympics, anything can happen because these girls have already shown us what they are capable of. It's a huge challenge. There's no doubt about that. Because as you pointed out, Borea, you know, we've lost to Great Britain in this tournament. They're a better side. But we've also beaten Australia when everyone has said that, you know, that would be impossible. So in this particular match, what is it that you think Team India should ensure that they do right to ensure that they win? I want to see leadership. I want to see leadership from Rani Rampal, Savita Punia, Vandana Kataria and others. They need to elevate their game. They might concede a goal or two. But like the men, they cannot give up. They've got to keep fighting till the very last minute because that is what it boils down to. That is what it is all about. This is the game of their lives. If they win this, somehow, they will never again have to look back and say, we struggled. There will be royalty back home in India. So the stakes are at its highest. Give it your absolute all. 70 minutes of madness, 60 minutes plus obviously the breaks. And anything can happen thereafter. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's sport. It's real, not real. There are no retakes. One mistake even can be done by the British. And Britain is no Australia. They are no Netherlands. They are no Argentina. So our girls should just go out there, play fearless, play with intent, express themselves and we will see what happens. And play their heart out, essentially. Borea, thank you for joining us. That match is right now underway between India and Great Britain. It's at zero all right now. We'll be tracking the latest updates on exactly what's happening in the match. But India's super girls, all set to make history in Tokyo. The journey to the Olympics has not been easy for many of them. They fought all odds to reach this exemplary milestone and to create history. Here's a report on the real heroes of our country. From the villages of Jharkhand to the plains of Haryana to the hills of Manipur. Women from the length and breadth of the country have overcome heavy odds to come together and fulfill their one dream, play hockey and bring glory to India. The Indian women's national team scripted history after qualifying for the semi-finals of the Olympics for the first time. The team now plays for bronze. Their ride to the top of the world's biggest sporting event has not been easy. 
Captain Rani Rampal's family faced severe financial difficulties. Even buying a hockey stick to start her career was beyond her family's means. जिसके ऊपर उसने ओकी खेल ली हमने बहुत रोकी बहुत रोकी मगर बेटे वे गरीब आदमी हम कहां ओकी खिला सकते हैं उस टाइम तो अगर मां कोई टाइम पे बिन था भी इसको देख कटाए भी दे हैं घड़ी भी लिखी है घड़ी भी नहीं थी तो चलो धीरे-धीरे वो घड़ी भी ली गई forward vandana kataria and her family had to fight back social stigma through the years belonging to a lower caste the family was mocked for allowing her to play sports they ignored the noise and persuaded their daughter to play hockey vandana's father passed away 3 months ago and could not see his daughter score the hat trick that sealed the quarter final spot pura gaon jo hai khushi ke mood mein ऐसा वो है कि अर्जेंसी बताई आ रही है फोन पे भी वैसे भी नहीं आ रहा है Vandana's family was not spared even after her heroic exploits. After the Indian team's defeat in the semi-finals, two men allegedly danced and burst firecrackers outside her house and hurled casteist slurs. A shocking reminder of the hurdles our heroes face day in and day out. For Neha Goyal, hockey is means to a better life. The first time Olympian worked alongside her mother in a cycle factory to support her family. Savita Punya made a string of saves to keep a clean sheet against Australia. The goalkeeper from Sirsa during her initial days found commuting for training a battle in itself. She was often not allowed to travel in state buses because of the two hockey kids she carried along. Savita also had to take over the responsibility at home once her mother fell ill with arthritis. Hamare Bharatiya Mahila hockey team इतना अच्छा खेल के आज उस मुकाम पे पहुंची है जिसने इतिहास रचा है और उसमें श्वेता भी भागीदार है और उसका भी आज एक मेन रोल रहा है हमारी टीम को विजय दिलवाने में दीज सुपर हीरोइंस हैव सोन सीड्स ऑफ अ रेवोल्यूशन इन टोक्यो देयर हीरोइक्स विल इंस्पायर मेनी मोर यंगस्टर्स टू डू व्हाट दे डिड ब्रिंग ग्लोरी टू देयर कंट्री ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे And let's take this across to our reporters on the ground as we remind you about the stories of these girls, how they've made it all the way to the Olympics. Let's also take a look at what their families are up to. This is an equally tense time for them. Anisha Mathur is joining us live from outside Captain Rani Rampal's residence uh, in Kurukshetra. We also have with us Abhishek Anand, who's joining us from outside player Neha Goyal's house. Let me first take this across to Anisha. Anisha, good morning. Uh, you know, yesterday you were there at Surinder Kumar's residence so you know the drill you know how it works so take it away what's the situation there at Rani Rampal's house this morning Well, good morning, Akshita. The situation at Rani Rampal's house is that the entire family is inside. They're tense. They're watching the match, and at the moment, they have said that they don't want to speak to the media. Rani's father, Mr. Rampal, had come out just a few minutes ago, given a short statement to media persons, saying that he is very proud of his daughter and her team. They're looking forward to watching the match. They spoke to her. Uh, his uh, he spoke to his daughter just yesterday, and she has said that they are very hopeful. They're keeping the hope alive, and at the min- uh, moment. and ex uh, uh, relatives friends neighbors have gone inside uh, what you can see in our on our uh, screens uh, uncle ji aap uh, rani ke parivar se hain madam main maharaj ji kutiya ke aaya hu baba dilair singh ji kutiya hai wahan pe acha ji wahan pe jo ardas ki jati hai na ji kabhi kha le jati aap gurdware ho ke aaye ha kutiya hai baba dilair singh ji yahan pe wahan ki ardas ki kabhi kha le nahi jati aap dekh lena acha ji aap rani ke parivar ye mere bas pehle dukaan pe kaam karte the acha ने तो आज आप लोग सब उनको सपोर्ट मुझे कोई दुनिया की ताकत नहीं बना देते हैं ये मेरा वादा आपसे देख लेना 
So you can see here uh, relatives, friends, well-wishers now congregating at Rani's house to watch the match along with her family. And all of them are saying that they've been praying to the gods that they uh, hope that the bronze medal comes to India. And the, it is a very tense situation inside the house. Everybody is quietly watching the match. Uh, uh, their eyes focused on the screen inside. And this morning, of course, uh, a lot of media persons around. The family has made just one statement saying that they're going to be praying for a win. And remember, Rani herself is also... Uh, we were talking about how the players have come up from very extremely hard conditions. Rani is also has a similar story from the uh, family of a very, very poor horse car driver, now the captain of the Indian field hockey team. Rani has come a very long way and her family is uh, has built up this house, this Rani Rampal's house here in the new model town, Lucky Colony area of Shahabad, is further work of her blood, sweat and tears that she's put in over the years. The, uh, the entire family and the neighborhood sending prayers and wishes to the hockey team which has started its uh, uh, quest for the win at the bronze. We're, we're, on the, we're on the cusp of history. You know, we're one match away from winning bronze and it's the first time that the women's hockey team will actually be securing a medal at the Olympics and that shows you what a big deal it is and how these women have gone up against all odds to really get to this position. Uh, you know, before I take this across to Abhishek Anand, uh, Anisha, you told me that, you know, the family members at this point are refusing to talk to the media. Uh, they've kept themselves inside the house. They're watching the match very, very closely. But for someone like Rani, you know, this has been uh, such a momentous journey, something that she'll always remember because, you know, before when we've spoken to the family members, they've always said that her dream was to win an Olympic medal. Well, yes, her family members have been talking about Rani. Rani's story, of course, is an inspiration to us all from the daughter of a poor horse cart driver who had to th struggle against families, op opposition, neighbours. The entire village was opposed to a daughter going out and playing a game like this. They, uh, she had to struggle against the financial uh, situation of the family. There have been instances where Rani's family has told us there were instances where uh, uh, the coach Baldev Singh Ji had to get, uh, had to pay for her kit, for her diet even. There were instances where she did not have enough milk, but she told the coach that she's had enough. She's had the uh, kind of food that she's required to have. And from that uh, uh, scene of deprivation, from that scene, this is a story of true grit. Rani Rampal has fought against all odds, has quieted every voice that said that girls should not be doing this, that girls should not be going out to play, that the girls place is inside the house and that is the story really of this Olympic, of this Olympic dream that this team is showing to not just the country but to the entire world that if you have determination, if you have yes. the junoon, you can do anything, you can be in a position where you've uh, already made history because this is the first time ever that the Indian women's team has gone to this level. Win or lose, they are the role models that every girl in this country will be looking up to. Absolutely. You. you know, they're heroes right now for every single one of us. The way this journey has gone from, you know, them losing so badly to come back on a winning campaign at the Olympics, they've already created history. They're heroes. There's no doubt about that. I want to take this across to Abhishek Anand. He's joining us live from Neha Goyal's house in Sorry, but uh, Abhishek, what's the situation there? Good morning, first of all. Uh, you know, I'm sure the family members of Neha right now watching the match are very, very tense. Well, uh, I'm inside Neha Goel's house and uh, Neha is also from a very humble background. You can see this is their living room and uh, I have been joined by uh, her mother who is actually praying for her victory. Uh, Mataji, kya आपने किया सुबह से क्या दिमाग में चल रहा है मेरे को तो बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है मैंने खुशियां बना रही हूं ये बात जाकर मिठाई बांटूंगी ये मेरी बेटी मेडल जीत का है राम नोशन करे कितना मेहनत कितनी मेहनत करनी पड़ी शुरू से बहुत मेहनत की है मैंने भी शुरू से मैंने बार से काटे चमड़े काटे तार बांध दिया फैक्ट्री में मैंने जोता फैक्ट्री में भी काम करती थी फोम फैक्ट्री में भी काम करती थी और घर का भी करती थी इसके पापा कुछ नहीं करते थे लेकिन ये साढ़े आठ साल की ग्राउंड में जानने लगे थे 
तो फिर जाना नहीं थोड़ा इसने कोई का शौक नहीं था इसने खेलन का शौक था कोई ब्याह शादी हो कोई फैशन हो कोई कुछ नहीं इसने खेलन तो मत बल था सुबह चार बजे जाते थे पाँच बजे ग्राउंड में पहुँचते थे आठ बजे जाते थे नौ बजे जाते थे फिर आकर सो जाते थे खेलते थे फिर रात को चार बजे फिर जाते थे फिर आठ बजे आकर सो जाते थे ये सारी मेहनत जो हुई है इसमें पैसे कितने खर्च हुए और कैसे खर्च हुए महाराज प्रीतम ने साथ दिया जो कुछ करे थी प्रीतम करती थी कपड़ा लत्ता बैग सब कुछ वो देती थी उसने ही नौकरी लगवाई है उसकी कोच जो है प्रीतम ने प्रीतम हाँ जी उन्होंने सारा साथ दिया हाँ जी आप बताइए साहब आप उनके ताऊजी हैं कितनी मेहनत करनी पड़ी है मेहनत तो बाबू जी क्या बयां करें उसका इतनी मेहनत की जिस बच्ची ने इस परिवार ने जितनी मेहनत की वो शब्दों में तो बया कर ही नहीं सकते अब आपको वैसे थोड़ी सी बानगी बता देते हैं मतलब बच्ची ने बचपन से बहुत स्ट्रगल किया और इसकी मदर ने भी बच, ये बच्चे जब हुए इसके फादर सो दिस इज दिचुएशन राइट इन साइड द रूम लिविंग रूम ऑफ नेहा गोयल एवरीबडी इज स्टेरिंग एट द टी वी स्क्रीन एंड दिचुएशन इज रियली टेंस दे आर बिन ट्रेनिंग सिंस मॉर्निंग फॉर अ ब्रॉन्स मेडल एंड दैट ब्रॉन्स दे आर सेंग दैट विल बी गोल्ड फॉर द you know so far uh, we've been doing a great job out on the field the first quarter is over and so far there's been no goal scored in the match by either side let's hope in the second quarter it goes our way we score a couple of goals uh, and uh, i don't want to jinx it of course but let's hope that that really works out in our favor in the next quarter so right now uh, the match they've taken a short break and then the second quarter will begin remember that the last time around india faced great britain and was in this campaign in the olympics we lost to great britain but right now what you're seeing is a resurgent team india refusing to really be cowed down the fact that they beat australia has clearly made them all the more confident also on the field i want to take this across now to shreya chatterjee she's joining us live from sirsa from outside savita punia's house shreya good morning savita essentially has become a household name now for all of us she's been doing such a great job in the olympics uh, you know keeping the goal post as her territory refusing to allow uh, anyone to really go past her what's the mood outside her house how is her family feeling well everyone here is very excited uh, we're right now at uh, savita punia's house and you know we're joining by uh, with uh, her father and uh, uh, sir aap se puchhenge excitement kaisa hai aap log sab match dekh rahe hain andar sab uh, baithe hue hain match dekh Apologies. We've lost our connection with Shreya. We'll go back to her in just a bit. She was getting us Savita Punia's father also. There's a short break in the match, so we've been able to speak to the family members briefly there because they are glued to their television screens. As is really the rest of the country, as we're all watching the match so closely, keeping our fingers crossed that this hockey team manages to uh, secure history. So we we'll continue getting you all the updates uh, on that match that's underway between India and Great Britain the fight for the bronze medal but there are a lot more Indians in action at Tokyo today two Indian wrestlers will be in action India's medal hope Bajrang Punia is in action in the men's 65 kg freestyle where he'll take on Kyrgyzstan's Ernazer Akhmatyev now uh, Akhmatyev Uh, participated at the 2018 and 2019 Asian Championships and finished fifth at the 2019 Under 23 World Championships. Second seed Punia is one of the favourites to finish on the podium, as his main challengers, like Russia's Rashidov and Japan's Otoguro, are on the other side of his draw. His match is expected to start uh, in over one hour from now at around 8:45 this morning Indian Standard Time. Besides that, you've got in the 50 kilo women's freestyle wrestling. India's Seema Bisla she'll be facing Sara Hamdi of Tunisia in her first round bout Seema Bisla who won a bronze medal at the 2021 Asian Championships qualified for the Tokyo Games by reaching the final at the World Olympic qualifiers in Bulgaria Taking this across to Borya Majumdar who is tracking all the latest in Tokyo Borya as far as the wrestlers are concerned Bajrang Punia is another medal hopeful for india we've all got our fingers crossed what really can we expect what an olympics it has turned out to be the last few days today we have the girls we have bajrang i'm keeping my fingers crossed for bajrang as well massive day for him coming into the ring one of the favorites to win a medal for india neeraj tomorrow 
If we have a good finish to the Olympics, there is every reason this will be the best Olympics ever. Can the girls make it? The moment if they win, we have touched London, which is six medals, our best Olympics ever. So plenty at stake. You guys keep praying, keep watching, keep supporting, and I will again join you back post the match with fingers crossed some good news.